It is time now for the Executive Edge, and we are digging into the first major IPO of 2022. And Leslie Picker joins us this morning with that. Leslie, good morning. Hey, good morning, Andrew. Yeah, that's right. TPG expected to go public tomorrow, marking the first major IPO of 2022. It will also be the first big debut for an alternative asset manager since Aries went public eight years ago. TPG flirted with the idea of joining its private equity peers in the public markets for years, and the firm saw some opportunity in 2021. Take a look at shares of Blackstone doubling last year, KKR, Carlyle, Aries, each returning more than 70 percent. Apollo Technically, the laggard here, but still just about doubling the S&P. So TPG set terms last week seeking a $9.5 billion valuation. But soon after that, the equity markets declined, thanks in part to a pop in yields. So too went those lucrative alternative asset managers, although they have recovered in the last few days a little bit. The macro concern surrounding the business model really has to do with this idea that they haven't yet been tested in the public markets in anything but a low interest rate environment. So they could see some headwinds from the shift in monetary policy. A higher risk-free rate puts pressure on the managers of buyout funds to find bigger exits and to deliver a higher premium to their investors. It can also make debt financing and refinancing more expensive. I'm told by a source, though, that TPG has been emphasizing their growth platform and impact investing portfolio that may be more insulated from rising rates. Guys. So what do we think? When, we're going to know we're going to know tonight how, how it went in terms of pricing. That's right. We should know tonight. I mean, it's it's a tricky market out there. They're the first test. We've seen 61 percent of 2021's IPO class trade underwater uh, below the price that they issued. So it's really hard just in general right now to coax investors to put money to work in IPOs. And then, of course, you've got the backdrop of their comps, which I showed you of the other private equity peers that also haven't been doing well over the last few days. That said, it is a new asset out there. It's something that investors can really sink their teeth into. It, there's some scarcity to that. So it'll be really interesting to see how uh, it prices this evening. Do you think, by the way, they get a premium to the other private equity firms out there? Do they get the same comp? Do they get a lower comp? What, what's the chatter? Yeah, I was looking at uh, the multiples this morning, and it appears that they're actually debuting at a discount, at least in terms of price to earnings. Uh, private equity firms are a little tricky because their peers aren't, you know, pure buyout funds anymore. Carlyle is the closest to that. Um, but with Apollo, it's so much more about credit and insurance. Um, with KKR, same thing. They have a big credit arm. Blackstone, much more about real estate. So the comps are a little tricky. But if you look just on a pure price to earnings basis, a little dated because I'm looking at the full year 2020 numbers, they are coming at a pretty significant discount.